This film will look at the equipment and steps involved in performing a simple tooth extraction, including pain management. The equipment required for a simple tooth extraction would include a Minnesota retractor, various sizes of dental elevators, and extraction forceps. And now we're going to take a radiograph of the upper premolar tooth that we are going to extract. This tooth is a supernumerary tooth. We place the film into the mouth as such, and we are going to use the bisecting angle technique to take a radiograph of that premolar tooth. To extract the upper premolar tooth, we will give an infraorbital block. This will block the infraorbital nerve. This will give anesthesia to the premolar teeth, canines and incisors on that side of the mouth. The infraorbital foramen is usually level with the distal root of the upper third premolar. Finger pressure is applied to the foramen whilst injecting. Finger pressure is also applied once the needle has been removed and this will allow for infiltration of the local anaesthetic agent along the canal. We will also give a palatal infiltration around the tooth to be extracted and this will give anaesthesia to the mucosa around that tooth. To extract the tooth, the dental elevator is applied to the mesial side of the tooth and in a rocking action moved along the root. This will stretch and tear the periodontal ligament fibres. The elevator is then applied to the distal side and again with a rocking action worked along the root. We can then rotate and hold with the elevator for 10 to 15 seconds. This will tear periodontal ligament fibres and cause bleeding within the alveolus. Once the tooth is loose, extraction forceps can be applied. The premolar tooth root is conical and will accept rotational movement. When the tooth is extracted, check the apex. The apex should be smooth and rounded. For pain management for a simple and surgical tooth extraction, we would like to use the so-called preemptive analgesia or pain relief. We would like to give a preoperative dose of an opioid such as methadone, an interoperative dose of a local anaesthetic agent such as lignocaine hydrochloride, and a postoperative dose of either an opioid or a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug.